We have a little puppy. He likes. Yeah, he's adorable. Wait, what's the he dog's thinks name? he's one of the kids. Teddy. That's I mean, so cute. So if we're sitting, if we're sitting down at dinner, and uh, then we send the kids upstairs to go get ready, as as they go up, he'll get up and he'll follow them off. So he, he really thinks he's he's one of them. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tea with Teachers. I'm your host, Talia Khan, and I'm here today with Professor Bill Minikazi. It's great to be here. Thanks very much. So I've heard that you really like basketball. I do. I love to play basketball, something I've been doing for a very long time. Every year I do it a little bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really enjoy the camaraderie of the games, you know, getting out there and just playing hard. It's one of the few things that can take your mind off of something. But if I get on the basketball court, and there's somebody in my face and I'm trying to, <laughs> to win and they're trying to win, then, then there's no time to think about whatever's bothering you. You just have to think about the game. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you met your wife when you were an undergrad at Princeton. Yeah, my wife and I met our, my first semester of college. That's back so in cute. Uh, Yeah, 1986. Yeah, warn your parents to be nice to whoever you bring home. <laughs> <laughs> How old are your kids again? Are they are you training them all to be little math geniuses as well? Or they all they all love math. <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to push too much. I, I hope that they decide they love math, but they don't have to be mathematicians. Uh, what are some superstitions or traditions that you practice? Really love family traditions. So we've been going to the the same vacation every summer for many years. Where do Things you go? Things like that. At Lewis, Delaware. We started going there when uh, we lived closer to it. <laughs> yeah. And we keep going because uh, the water's warm. Aww. Unlike the cake. <laughs> <laughs> what would your perfect party look like? Kids, lots and lots of my family, a lot of outdoor activities, pizza and ice cream. Pizza and ice cream, are those yeah. your favorite? Those are the favorites. Pizza, ice cream, and red wine, but you have to be 21 for that. <laughs> <laughs> Your house containing um, everything you own catches fire. What do you grab? Uh, well, I'm assuming that the family and the, family, and, and, and the dog are fine. out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I'm grabbing my hard drives. Your hard, okay. <laughs> hard drives and then family pictures. If you could pass on any piece of wisdom to your students, what would it be and why? This is specifically to the students in the GIRs. If you're sitting in a class with hundreds, maybe 500 other students, it can be really easy, even in that sea of people, to feel kind of isolated. You know, there are really a lot of people going through the same things and the same feelings that you are. Really, you should feel comfortable with that. You should feel comfortable with how you're doing. You should reach out and talk to your professors. You know, as long as they work hard and, and are organized, they can all be very successful. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Tea with Teachers. If you like what you saw, subscribe and watch more videos here. Follow us on social media here. If you have suggestions for questions or professors, let us know down in the comments below. Have a great week.